What's good, what's good, what's good, what's good? After Wednesday noon. I'm not going to say hump day. <clears throat> because I feel like that's a curse. Anytime says somebody says happy hump day. Thursdays always turn out to be uh, shit. So, What we do have tonight is some set boosties. Some Modern Horizons collector or set boosters. So we have set boosties, pre-release kits. I want to check out the uh, buy a box promo and uh, hopefully uh, get some motion and things going. So hopefully this Wednesday is finding most of you well. It's finding me fairly decent. I'm excited. It's always a good day when you when you get to crack some new stuff a little early. So. Let's check out the promo card. No shenanigans tonight, really, guys. It's just going to be uh, a little bit of normal lighting with a splash of black lighting for some pizzazz, but we are just going to check these guys out. So. I've already given away three of these. Got a couple left. Here we go. Sanctum Prelate. Human Cleric Mythic Shifty Foil. It seems good. What's up, Hiznendez? What's good, man? Just checking out the buy a box promo right now. What are you guys up to? Oh, I was actually just playing Arena, but as soon as I saw your notification, I was like, instant forfeit. <laughs> <laughs> nope, just checking out some of this Modern Horizon stuff a little early. Not really, uh, yeah. not doing any blacklight shenanigans tonight. I just want to take in, uh, how everything looks under. It's got a splash of blacklight in there for that extra pizzazz, you know? On the, uh, yeah. the, the, the foils and stuff. But I got a butt ton of pre release kits here. Two of them are on hold for Matt. Still waiting for Emma to decide whether she for sure wants one or not. I see she's in the chat now. I haven't even announced that I'm live to anybody or anything like that. I figured tonight I'm just gonna, I'm gonna roll with it however it rolls. So Matt said he wanted to. I'm waiting for him to get back at me. Uh, I already gave one of these things away, some of the uh, pre-release cards, or buy a box cards away. Got a couple pre-release kits back. I know John Regan was asking about one. I haven't uh, haven't heard back from him yet. Haven't really checked my phone either. So what are you guys up to tonight? Doing anything fun? I was actually waiting for you to get your Modern Horizons 2 stuff. I wasn't sure if you are going to do the, the anti-game tonight, but if you're not, and you have a... Or even if you might still do it, like, and you have a pre-release pack available, I might actually just buy one for you, so you can or from you, so you can crack it on your on your stream. Nah, that's all good. You guys can crack the stuff for yourself. I'll just ship it over and get it in the mail tomorrow, man. Um, uh, I do plan on doing something tonight. I'm just well, basically the way what I meant by uh, uh, you know not announcing anything is basically so that I, I'm, I'm not trying to get people to pile in. Kind of hoping people uh, just kind of find it on their own, you know what I mean? Let that YouTube algorithm let it do its thing. All right, yeah. so that's kind of a hefty, uh, hefty little deal here. Yeah, but I'll tell you what, if you've got a, if you still have a couple available, I'll send you the cash for one right now, and you can crack it on stream. That way, you've got some content going on. Well, I'm gonna do one promo. And then, or one pre-release, and then I'm gonna do, uh, depending on how long the pre-release kit video goes, I'm gonna do that, cut the stream, just because I want a couple shorter uh, videos. Nobody wants to watch a six-hour video of us jerking off all night. Um, <laughs> you know, um, it, it, I, you, I, I'm pretty sure you get what I mean. All right, so yeah, here's the insert card. Um, I got a foil-stamped Gaia's Will for uh for my promo card so far but i see there's this is actually kind of thick all right so emma did say she wants one so matt takes two john takes one emma takes one that leaves one left dude 
I don't have an issue sending right. it to you. I have to. Yeah, but I'd, I'd rather I'd rather you crack it and make some content with it. I mean, I, like I'm gonna be doing a pre-release Friday, and I actually got permission from the store to uh, film it. So I'm, that's gonna go up on there. But like, like I said, I'm all I'm all about supporting other content creators. So this gives you another thing that you can crack on your channel, dude. I mean, if you're sure, that's completely up to you, brother. Yeah. I'm 100% sure. Are you, like, well, I'll just, I'm just going to pay you the cash right now. Oh, look at that. Right? Squirrel token. Uh, yeah, we'll work out. Like, like, I already have to ship you stuff anyway, so just send 45. We'll throw it in there. You got it. Little clue token. Food token. Thopter token. Yeah, I'm, I'm There's... still looking at the guy as well. Oh, that... <laughs> That makes sense. That makes sense. So these are double-sided. Phyrexian germ. I like it. I don't know about the bird, but I know people that'll be hyped for that bird token. Dude, I know people that legit play bird token or bird token decks or bird decks in general. And a token crab. All right. So that guy, guy as well is pretty cool. Uh, is it worth anything? I have no clue on value of anything. I haven't spoiled myself. Other than the stuff I watched, uh, you know, Matt Crack. Yeah. Um, I haven't really done anything, so. We'll leave that guy as Will over there. And. I, like, I mean, like I said, I was trying not to spoil anything for myself. I just kind of. I think we. Everybody's so hyped on spoiling everything that they don't really take in what they get anymore. That's so true. I really like that crab token. It's a, it's a cool looking crab. Yeah, it's kind of beefy. The food token is kind of cool too. It looks like a, a bites back because it's like a barbecued up uh, scorpion. Yeah. It's on the back side of that crab. Alright. <clears throat> Let's crack some packs. Gouge Zealot. Orchard Strider. Mental Journey. Loathsome Curator. Man, maybe I do need to add a little extra light. Hang on one second. Everything seems a little off. Let's do this. Boom. There we go. Dip this down a little. Alright, Mental Journey. Orchard Strider. Man, some of the art in this is actually pretty. Ah, this dude totally looks like a, uh, a flesh bag marauder. Not gonna lie. Loathsome Curator. Misfault Bridge. That's a cool land. I think it's time Wizards gets back to its roots and has really pleasant looking lands. Draykeeper. Uh, Elf Druid. Yep, he's making squirrels. Apparently, every color is going to make squirrels now. Tragic Fall. Is that a reprint? I feel like... Yeah, Tragic Fall is. Is it? Wow. Yeah, those artifact lands look just awesome. Right? I love the art on those. So Yeah, good. I actually really want to make the, the green-white one. I forget its name, but I think that would make an awesome play mat. Discerning Tastes. I'm really digging most of the art in this so far. Storm God's Oracle. Okay, fair enough. Raving Visionary. Ah, oh, that's kind of that kind of takes me back a little bit. Ether Sworn Phoenix or Sphinx. Wow, I'm retarded. That is a 9 for an uncommon with affinity. I don't know if it'll be good in infinity. Oh, what? Wait, what? Affinity deck with Cascade? That's dumb. I haven't seen it yet. I'm waiting for the stream to catch up. Oh, there you're, it is. you're good. Oh, yeah, there it is. Wow, yeah. That's that's a cool looking card, too. Kind of looks like the Hegemon Sphinx looking thing. Another uncommon. Greed. Interesting. Is that a Chronicles or a Legends symbol? What? This enchantment's 
dumb. So, I mean, I get it, it's four mana cost, but tap one mana, pay two life, draw a card. You don't like that, do it again. Oh. This is like the isn't, better isn't, side of Gristlebrand. Yeah. Isn't Greed Legends? Isn't that the Legends symbol? It's either Legends or Chronicles. I think Chronicles yeah, I had think the same legends. symbol. Yeah. But I mean, check that out. Like, literally, it's like, oh, hey, we banned Gristlebrand. We'll just, we'll just put the good part of them in there. Other than you have to, you know, also tap a land, but that's definitely going in Drana. And then Inevitable Betrayal. I hate blue cards, so that sucks for me. Nothing like pulling a blue rare. Alright, let's get to the next pack. Let's see what else we can get. Boom. Partial mirror. That's one colorful rhino beast. Focusing on my hand, is that the problem there, camera? Don't focus on my hand. What's going on, Aristotle? I had no idea you were doing something for charity, by the way, brother. Uh, I don't know how I missed out on that, but I think I'm going to send you something extra. Because that was pretty cool what you did, by the way. Tormod's Crib Keeper? What? Wow. That's not bad at all for a common. 3 for 3 2 with Vigilance. Tap, Sacrifice, Tormod's Crib Keeper, Exile, all cards from Target Player's Graveyard. I see foils of that being uh, pretty, uh, pretty decent in value. Or at least super playable, anyway. I don't know, about all I play is Commander anymore, so. What do you play on Arena packs? Um, I I do a standard, depending on the set, like all, all drafts. Like, uh, I drafted a ton of Zendikar, a lot of, uh, a lot of Kaldheim, but I haven't really touched Strixhaven all that much. Um, and I'm also, like, uh, Matt, like MTG Unveiled, got me into a Brawl. So been, uh, that's actually kind of what inspired the uh, the commander deck that I'm building right now is the, the brawl version of it that I have on there. I think I'm aside from the, like I'm waiting on two cards to arrive from Redbeard, and then I need to purchase I think like six or seven more. Then the deck will actually be done. So I'm pretty excited about that. But it's like obviously they're like all all like money cards like Smothering Tithe, um, Sylvan Library. I need to get a Bloodstained Mire, um, and then a few uh, Shocklands. Nice. Yeah. This I'm checking out this Mirror Scrappling. This is really good too for a common. One for a one one chump block. Sacrifice it instead. Don't take any damage. Put a one one on your commander. This would be good in Skull. Yeah. This would be great in Skullbriar. What's up, Bruce? Bruce? And like, it's a cool looking card, too. Right? Ah, it's dope. <laughs> I was kind of expecting the same thing. Where's halftime? Send the blue rare to it. Eh, I'm not looking to tear up cards right now at the moment. Just kind of kind of doing the thing. And by the way, Aristotle, you did an amazing job. You weren't yelling. I feel like I'm the one yelling at all the time because I got this little mixer thing on my dash that goes up and down, hits the red a lot. I don't know if I just talk too loud. Also, I have deafening headphones on, so they're sound canceling, so I can't tell how loud I'm talking. Tireless Provisionaire. Constable of the Realm. Yeah, I really dig some of the art in this set. Ooh, look at that. Cursed Totem. For the rare. Lattice Forge looks cool. 
Ha! <laughs> oh, this card's gross. For two mana, activated abilities of creatures can't be activated. Alright. Oh shit, I got two rares in this pack. What? Is it is that a thing? Whoa, um, whoa, whoa, whoa. It shouldn't be unless one's foil. No, I'm double checking right now. My other stack. Okay, so my other stack had four uncommons. So let's check this one here. If it's got three uncommons, one, two, three, yep. So that's cool, guys. Uh, I don't know if anybody else has done this, figured out, whatever. But um, so on these draft boosters, uh, you have a chance at either four uncommons or two rares. I wonder if we'll find a three rare pack. I don't know. But that was super cool. Okay, Curse Totem. That card's going to piss me off in somebody's deck, I'm sure. And then we got Territorial Kabu. I'm so. I'm kind of glad that they brought Kabu's back in this set. Um, yeah, I like the uh, the Kabu Yearling. It's a nice little uh, miniature version of Flame Tongue Kabu. Wow. Okay, so <laughs> this Kabu's like, um, if you attack with it, it uh, gives you a free instance. You either can discard a card if you do draw a card, or exile up to one target card from a graveyard. Just from attacking. Okay. That's pretty good. I think it's pretty good, too. I'm going super slow here. That's yeah, okay. Take your time. I mean, these are brand new cards. En like, you know, enjoy them. <laughs> I... Normally, I like to just flip to the back and see what we pull. That's usually what most of my content is, because I have ADHD, and I get sick of people, which I've already done it, who are like, Oh, wow, battle plan. Look at the art. Look at the text. Oh, man, you know my boy S Paul Scott Canavan. Mm, love that art, man. This card's so centered, and look at that axe. It's got blood on it. Man. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah, I don't. I don't ever get that that detailed. Like, I might point out like one cool aspect of the card, but I won't. I won't do a whole complete card breakdown. <laughs> I'm slow enough as it is. I need to get quicker with my uh, my battles. I think part of it's I just talk too much in the beginning, and I, I always kind of explain how the battles work. And Matt has it down to like kind of a science where he can just do it all fluidly. And I'm taking like 40 minutes to do like one battle, and he can crank one out in like 15. <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm not going to lie, my fastest booster box opening was 5 minutes 36 seconds. I will literally That's just flip the pack over, flip over the uh, the back card, see what the foil is, see what the rare is. If it's a set booster, I keep going until I hit an uncommon, toss the rest of the side, open the next pack. Alright, alright. Yeah, maybe that'll be, a, maybe that'll be a, something I should fire to do in the future. I wouldn't do it. That's just my rudeness. Yeah. <laughs> and, well, yeah, I just I, I get impatient a lot of times because when I'm cracking the packs, I'm like, okay, now I'm done. Now I gotta list all these cards on eBay so that way I can buy another box, make more videos. Yeah, that's actually like one thing I need to start doing is actually selling some of the cards that I've pulled just so I can start putting some of that cash back into buying more products. It's just the collector in me is like, oh, you know what? I want to hang on to it, but like. For example, like Zendikar, like I have Ooh. so much of that. So I, I did get a uh, a common shifted card, shifted nice. border, shifted border. So Emma says she looked it up and it's ten commons, three uncommons, one new modern reprint, and one rare mythic. So the new modern reprint could be a common, uncommon, rare, or mythic. I'm assuming. Uh, I'm guessing so. So that's probably what that is. Abundant Harvest. Altar of the Goyf. Oh, man. Hey, funny funny story. Uh, me and my wife both think that Tarmogoyf uh, looks like a chicken. He just looks like a really beasty chicken. W regardless of whichever one you're thinking of, he looks like a like a chicken. He really does. I can see that. Uh, so we, we had a pair of chickens back in the day, and one of them's name was Tarmogoyf. Everyone thought we were weird. <laughs> 
I, that's great. Like, they were assholes, but my wife loved them. She, uh, she raised them from chicks, and they slept with her. Like, they went everywhere with her when she was, like, they were in her shirt all the time when they were little, little chickens. And then they got bigger, and they turned into assholes. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Look at that. It's baby Lily. Young necromancer, creature, human warlock. If that's not Lily, come on. That's fucking Lily. Yeah, it kind of looks like her. I mean, she's got the headrest, the whole works. And then, obviously, counterspell. Um, I'm really not all that happy that they went with this art for counterspell. Um, I think they could have done better. Bring back the Tempest art. Or new art in general. Why just slap what was in Commander Legends? You know what I mean? Ooh. Yeah. Looks like I hit uh, a foil. Esper Sentinel for my rare. One mana for a 1-1. One, one. Whenever an opponent casts their first non-creature spell each turn, draw cards unless that pair pays X, where X is Esper Sentinel's power. That's a good card. It's a mana tithe on uh, leg. Not mana tithe. Um, can't think of its name. Uh, mothering tithe with legs. This is great for early game. So even, like, really, honestly, you don't even have to put it in a, in a deck where you uh, slap one one more 1-1s one on it because, I mean, you pop that out turn one, somebody else plays something turn one, the odds of them being able to pay the extra one is pretty slim. Nor do they want mm -hmm. to, so it just gives you card advantage. That's great. I like it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a really good card, actually. All right, Gargadon Foil. You know, uh, I know it's just a common, but the way uh, they did the background on that and the way it foils, it looks kind of pretty. You know how chrome looks when uh, when it shines? Yeah. It's kind of got that purple hue to it. All right, Thopter. Uh, yeah, I don't care about the foils right now. Speaking of which, two seconds. I just want to see if Mr. Regan ever replied to me. For sure. But yeah, I can totally, now that the stream's caught up, I can totally see the, uh, kind of the purple hue-ish on the background of the Gargadon. Um, just, like, the, just that whole card, like, the, the, the way, like, the, the sky kind of changes colors, you know? It, right. It looks cool. It's, like, different, different, like, phases of a sunset, if you will. <laughs> uh, hold on a second. What's Matt, up, Bruce? literally... Just message me, so give me a second. Oh, you're good. Me and my anime girls. I'm an anime nut. I love anime, if nobody here knows that. Uh, I'm very, very anime snobbish, too. Uh, yeah, they're sealed, Matt. Matt, if you decide to hop on and check it out. Let's see here. I don't even think he knows we're live. I'll, I'll, I'll message him. Alright. We're back to it. Cracking packs with uh, Pax McCracken as commentary. Shatter <laughs> Ego. Lightning Spear. And Matt's response to uh, I'm live is nice. I'm high. <laughs> he must live in Colorado. No, he lives in Michigan. Oh, really? Yeah. Burden aerialist. Uh, I, it would be fun to have him in the chat too, but he said he's going to work on EDH decks. Nighted Mirror. Man, I need to... Give me one second. I've got this one mode. I think that mode's going to be better for this. Just bring it up a hair. And then... Let me know if the picture quality is coming through too, guys. Mine collapsed. Yeah, the picture looks good on my end. 
Man, I, I love the mirror cards. Like that knighted mirror just looks cool. I'm actually I know, super. I'm like a card behind. <laughs> I'm Sorry, I'm super. Ahead. No, you're good. I'm super jacked for the Mirrodin stuff because like the whole Mirrodin. Like I didn't start till Theros, so I'm I'm not old school. So I really like the art from the uh, Mirrodin stuff. So the fact that there's a lot of it in here, like just the splash of uh, the artifact stuff, that's really dope. The only thing we're missing is like brand new uh, Phyrexians. What's up, yeah. Matt? <laughs> I thought you were working on EDH decks. All right, Goblin Trap Trap Runner, Ravenous Squirrel. That is, that's brutal. All right, so this is a sketch card. Um, <laughs> green black. <laughs> Whenever you sacrifice an that's... artifact or creature, put a one-one counter on Ravenous Squirrel. There's a hand coming out of the tree. And a oh, bird. That one squirrel. Yeah, <laughs> that squirrel. That squirrel doesn't fuck around. <laughs> What's the squirrel from? Uh, is it Toski from uh, Kaldheim? Yeah. He makes him look like a bitch. <laughs> like <laughs> totally. Toski can flex. He's got all these muscles. He's missing a ligament, but this squirrel's got body parts to prove how badass he is. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna keep that, that with the rares. Cool. Those sketch cards are pretty badass. Foundation Breaker enters the battlefield. You may destroy target, artifact, or enchantment. Invoke two. Oh. If you do it, sacrifice when it enters the battlefield. So, I don't know if that's good or just alright. I feel like it could be a little better. Quirion Ranger. Quirion. That is a terrible name for a very boyish looking female elf. Uh, creature Elf Ranger. Return a force you control to its owner's hand. Uncap target creature. Activate only once each turn. Oh, sweet, because Cascade needed more help for one mana. Hi, Cascade decks. Need more Scoot Scoots? Hey, look, we got another. Uh, Oh shit, no, no fucking way. Alright. Marsh Flats is the rare. Nice. Let's take that in, guys. Let's take that in. These pre release kits are alright, in my opinion, already. Vectus Gloves, too. I love equipment because I run a Voltron deck. Equipment creature gets plus two, plus zero, and has Artifact Land Walk. <laughs> what? Uh, not going in my deck, because nobody usually uses artifact lands in uh, Commander, but I can see that being really ugly in Modern, especially with some of the, uh, the, uh, blah, 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 blah. shit, what are those, those, uh, decks called? Uh, the ones where, uh, uh, they use Urza's lands. Like Urza's oh, Towers. Tron. Yeah, yeah Tron, Tron decks. This could be this could be pretty good in a versus a Tron deck, if done right, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. I'm not good at modern, and I've seen modern decks that just rip people like you know two turns in. It's crazy. Like oh hey by the way here's Emrakul turn three. I hope you didn't like having permanents because you don't get any anymore. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever seen Tinfin before, but I have not. I, I can't remember all the cards. I just remember it's uh, mill yourself, get Gristlebrand into your graveyard, pop Gristlebrand onto the table for like one mana, reanimate, I'm assuming. Um, uh, use that to basically drop all your cards. Uh, sacrifice, uh, basically get down to one life, play Emrakul, win the game. Deepwood Denizen. All right. Hard evidence. Not not super happy about the cut quality though. Let's just take a quick break. Look at this. Oh no, that's just a straight up bend. Yeah. Oh. What's up, Doctor Cause? Brother, what's going on? How's the beach? I'd I'd be enjoying the beach if I were you. I'd be out there on a boogie board getting my ass handed to me at forty.
Gophos Reaver. Landscaper Colas. Colon. Colas. Vermin Gore. Ah, look at that. That art's dope. I love it when things look hand painted or hand drawn. Like, that looks like traditional vampire shit right there. I love it. And then for uh, Mr. Pax here Slagwood's Bridge. Foundry Helix. I feel like the worst color commentator since I've got that delay. <laughs> nah, you're good. Dark Moss Bridge. I'll hold on to whatever I think seems interesting. For sure. Yeah, we actually, uh, you hit the, uh, the one artifact land, the green-white one in the last pack that I want to turn into a playmat. Get her done. If you can find the actual art for it, dude, I know a guy. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be. I'm sure I'll be able to find a picture at some point. He char He charges what? 18 bucks a mat, and if you order more than one, uh, they go down as low as 15 per mat, depending on your order quantity. So like if you order four, I think they end up being like 15 or 16 a play mat. Oh, that's 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 a deal right there. Oh, for sure. Especially considering you get whatever you want on it versus just buying something you like. Exactly. So, uh, Kaz, what beach are you at? San Diego. I can't remember where he said. Something like Michigan or something like that. Squirrel Sanctuary. What? What is up with the squirrels and graveyards and body parts and... Alright. Wizards, I guess, just is taking the, uh... Oh, shit, that's cool. Five mana, draw X cards, where X is the number of card types among cards in your graveyard. Alright. Lucid Dreams. That art is pretty, pretty sweet. Not gonna lie. I am 32 minutes into opening five total packs. Barbed Spike. Ooh. And we got uh, a guy from the olden times. Chainer Nightmare Adept for the rare. Human Minion. Four mana. Discard a card. You may cast a creature spell from your graveyard this turn. Activate only once each turn. Whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, if you didn't cast it from your hand, it gains haste until your next turn. So, see, this is some of those cards that I'm talking about. It's just dumb. Let me intentionally throw this into my graveyard so I can just bring it back out with this guy. Alright, so we got two rares in this pack as well. This one's got Chef's Kiss in it. Gain control of target. Mwah. Whoa. <laughs> I just did the chef's kiss. I wasn't kissing you. Uh huh. Don't get too excited. His name is. Uh huh. <laughs> All right. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Chef's kiss. Uh, that is a gross looking whatever it is. Three mana instant. You gain control of target spell that targets only a single permanent. Wait. It targets only a single permanent or player. Copy it. Then select the targets at random for the spell and the copy. The new targets can't be you or a permanent you control. Alright, so... Wait. This is a counter spell, but instead of countering it, you get to do what you want with it and copy it? Yeah. So you get two yeah, for okay. three. That's... Alright. Alright. Give me your breakdown. Is that good or not? Let's see. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, I mean, just the whole game control, 
control of target spell. I mean, that's kind of the part that's kind of throwing me off. Um, so yeah, it sounds like you get that spell, like it counters it, you get it, you get a second copy of it, and then you get to redirect it. Crab token. Good old crab token. Mount Belus Manticore. All right. Manticore? That doesn't look like a manticore. That looks like a... a uh, I don't even know. It's Godzilla with bird feathers and a scorpion tail? Weird. Jeweled-eyed cobra. Foul watcher. Dude, that crow has so many eyes. Uh, did this guy, did Alejandro just uh, put down what the name of the card with the ridiculous name is? I think he did. Ooh, Matt added a photo to Kraken Packs MTG. Want to bet he's cracking some packs tonight? No, he just picked, put up, a, I'm actually looking at it right now. He put up a picture of that uh, Oxalotti card that he keeps calling like a frog. <laughs> you know, it's a, technically a salamander. Mist Vault Bridge. I actually like that. That's super dope. With the waterfall and everything. From the depths to the sky. Echoing return. So it's like a worse reanimate. Except you put it all into your hand versus putting it into, into play. Well, I don't know if it's worse though because... You get to you get to put all copies of the card in your hand. Huh. Could you imagine this in a uh, what's the name of that uh, that that cleric, the black cleric that you can make you can play as many as you want. Oh Shadowborn Apostle. There you go. So, could you imagine playing this with a Shadowborn Apostle deck? Yeah, or even in Relentless Rats. <laughs> okay, there you go. Relentless Rats. Seven this... Dwarves. I mean, any of those ones that you can uh, pop a bunch of stuff back from. We've seen Slagwoods. We've seen Tragic Fall. We've seen Drake Keep Keeper. Wow, six packs and we're duplicating things. Skyblade's Boon. Enchantment Aura. Trinity creature has one one and has flying. Okay. So it's an enchantment that you can pull back out of your graveyard. Legion Vanguard. By the way, hello everyone who is in the chat. We're just cracking some packs right now. We might play some shenanigans later. Or we might just crack more packs. Junkwinder. Affinity for tokens. <laughs> that name. Dude, this is such a dick card. I'm not even going to lie. So this, okay, so it's five colorless, two colored, right? Spell costs one less for, to cast for each token you control. And whenever a token enters the battlefield, you tap a target non-land permanent opponent controls. It doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step. Alright. Blue has all the dick cards in the world. Soul Snare. And uh, Alejandro uh, called it with the. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt to pronounce this. Ready? Here we go. Asmoranomardicadistinicule the car. Asmoranomardicadistinicule the car. All right, I'm gonna give it one shot as soon as the card pops up on the screen. All right, here we go. Almost caught up. There you go. Do it. All right, Asmorano Mardicata Stinicad Cool Cold Something like that. As Asmo. Asmo. Asmorano Mardicad Day 
Dinicule Dakar. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Alright. Matt just hit me up on the chat. So that's it for uh, Booster Pack 1. We'll, we'll just revisit. It's not bad. I, I like the way they laid these out. Honestly, I was a little worried about the draft packs. But the fact that you can get two per pack... I don't know what the value I pulled was. Obviously, the Marsh Flats' biggest hit. Ravenous Squirrel's not even a rare. Esper Sentinel, we talked about that one being pretty damn good. Curse so Totem. on TCG player and see what's up. Inevitable Betrayal. And then the Foil Guy as well. Promo Stamped. Kind of chuck this stuff to the side here. So, we're at... 40 minutes for one opening, so I guess screw it, we'll do more. Um, and I'll do a whole separate video for the set booster box that I'm going to crack. Or set, there you go. Yeah, the set booster. We'll do, uh, we'll do another one of these, so let me see what Matt needed real quick. Matt, what you sent me almost makes sense, uh, <laughs> but I've, I've, you know, I'm already opening one for uh, Matt as well, or Matt, shit, for Pax, and also Emma, so I've got plenty of content, my dude. Um, I'm going to do another one in this video. We're going to go through it a little bit faster. I think we'll just, we'll visit the commons and, uh, and rares, but... Uh, <laughs> it's so fun to watch. I got lots of stuff to open up, man. I mean, like, seriously, I and I'm not going to go super late today. Like, I got other stuff that I've got to do, like, print labels, ship stuff out for people, etc., etc. So, uh, I'll, I'll get some stuff done, man. You don't have to sweat it. If you, like, I've got two held aside for you, so that way you can do your little, uh, your little draft stuff. So, you can get up to three rares with the, uh, oh, well, yeah, if you hit a foil rare. It must be cracked. All right. How many edibles did you eat, or how much did you smoke? Emma, this one's going to be for you. Uh, let's let's see what's going on here. Let's see what color dye she gets. I I always so, don't... Oh, look at that. She got a black dye. What's up, Neil? So right now, for uh, those pre... I'm looking up prices of the cards you pulled. Um, Pre-sale prices for that inevitable... Trail, that suspend blue card right now is like a the lowest one is 14 like 14.79 so about 15 bucks and that asthma random modicata a lot of that whatever is about 15 bucks too and then the marsh flat is about 30 so definitely made your money on that one and that's just those three right there i haven't hit the other rares yet you're not sweating it right now all right emma you got a foil promo stamped chef's kiss I'm leaving that sealed because I've already opened one and I don't need to see what your tokens are. They're probably the same. At least I would imagine. Alright. Let's see what this does. Uh, I have no idea if you can get a promo fetch in the kits. Uh, I imagine if you just type in promo fetch somebody's probably got one listed on ebay or something all right so we're gonna ignore these guys here oh hey bone shards with the uh time shifted uh are my eyes messing with me or does that seem a little blurry okay there we go Gargadon. Floodhound. Alright. Nice pun, wizards. Nice pun. Another shifty card. Wow. Okay. And just the commons, too. A third shifty card. What the fuck? Uh, Brainstone. Shifty. Old Border. Whatever you want to call it. A three in one pack, Emma. Way to go. I guess I said I was going to go over these uncommons. Brainstone, one. 
Two, tap, sacrifice, brainstone, draw three cards, then put two cards from your hand on top of your library in any order. Wait, what? That almost... Other than the sacrifice part, that almost feels like uh, Sensei's Divining Top, right? Sort of? I don't know. I'm bad at magic. Mystic Redaction. At the beginning of your upkeep, scry one. Whenever you discard a card, each opponent mills two cards. Bruvac definitely needed more help. Feast of Sanity. Four mana, enchantment. Whenever you discard a card, Feast of Sanity deals one damage to any target and you gain one life. Okay. I see some combos already. <laughs> what? And she hit a Mistress Factory? What the fuck? Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Mistress Factory. Everybody here that just banned Brainstorm and Time Warp and I can't remember what else. Zabaz. Time Warp. Nope, they banned Brainstorm. Not Brainstorm. Uh, is it Brainstorm? Yeah, Brainstorm. Is it Brainstorm? Brain Geyser. Zabaz the Glimmer Wasp. One for Modular 1. The Modular triggered, triggered. I can't speak. Ability would put one or more 1-1 one, one counters on creature you control. That many plus 1-1 one, one counters are put on it instead. Okay. I actually really like that card. I think it'll be good in Affinity. Yeah, it seems Especially good. Especially if you like, have, have him out with that Arcbound Ravager. I mean, plus it's got the Destroy Target uh, artifact you control. Bor Boros Affinity. I think it might be a thing. Yeah. Time will tell. I wonder if Boros will ever go up. Well, there's that uh, Boros deck in Standard right now that is really difficult to deal with unless you have an answer for that. Oh, I forget her name, but she's like the, the mythic Boros creature from Aquaria. Like, uh, whenever a non-human creature attacks, you either, like look at the top six cards of your library and then put a creature in it tapped and attacking that with Blade Historian. So, like, you swing with, like, two or three, like, little, little guys and you get three more and they all have double strike and everything, it can kill you turn four. I was talking about historic if we're talking about the same thing. Oh, with the okay, bands. no. No, I was not talking about historic. I was talking she about was historic kidding. with the ban. Oh, okay. Nope, I was talking about standard. Uh, 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 uh. Strike it rich for the first uncommon. Create a treasure token. For one mana, and then you can flash back, flash it back for three. Okay. Power Depot. I should say Home Depot. <laughs> Vial and Tumor. I really like the art on that. Mog Salvage. Those guys are ugly as hell. And they've got permanent crew cuts for heads. Yes, Emma. Waspinator for Dave. Uh, what, uh, what I have a feeling that these guys should also be saying, Oorah! An unmarked grave for the rare. Anything in the back? Nope, just a token. Let's look at that real quick. Search your library for a non-legendary card. Put, it on, put that card into your graveyard, then shuffle. For two mana. And graveyard shenanigans. Alright. That didn't work out well at all. They say be nice. It opens up really easy. These packs never agree with me. Ever. Then a single one. Has a pull tab? Nope. Doesn't work. to be difficult. Always. 
That nested Chandler is pretty dope. And is this the one everyone's calling a frog? The uh, Sojourner's Companion? The Salamander? The Oxalati? I'll see it when it, when it catches up. Yeah, right it's an Oxalati. It's, it's, it's like a Chrome Oxalati? Yeah. I should have called it Chrome Oxalati. Uh, Chrome Oxalati. Piercing Rays. This guy's fucking dying. Hey, look, it's a, uh, it's a worse, uh, whatever that card is. I can't even remember its name. Return to Exile? Path to Exile. Worst Path to Exile. Squirrel Sovereign. Two for a two-two. Okay, so are are we are we really doing this? Are we making squirrels a uh, the same as uh, what are those worm creatures that everybody hates? Sliver, Slivers? silver, sliver. Yeah, we we run in some sliver shenanigans here. Ghostlit Drifter, that's a pretty cool card. Slag Strider, Enchantress Presence. Three enchantment. Whenever you cast an enchantment spell, draw a card. Oh wait, this is a throwback, so this is a two rare pack. We haven't seen a mythic yet out of one of these boxes, and of course Emma gets the mythic. Uh, and she got Chatterfang. Oh really? Congratulations. Nice hit, Emma. I'll be holding that ransom for a little while. What's that chatter thing running? Like 40, yeah, 50 bucks? Pull it up. Let's see, chatter thing. I'm waiting for the video to catch up. Is it just regular? No. Yeah, it's just right, yeah, nothing special. Fang. Just normal chatter thing. Let's see, chatter thing on TCG player is. I'll let you know when I pull it up. You're good. <laughs> Oh, hey, I kind of like that. So shiny. That squirrel has ADHD. That's super dope, too. That's some uh, Resident Evil shit right there. Hellmongrel. Yeah, Chatterfang is about 40 bucks right now. Lowest Mar uh, listing is 41.09. Jade Avenger. It's a ninja frog. What the fuck? Oh, n n not a ninja. It's a samurai frog. All right. Is Frog going to be a new tribal? Is this what they're doing? Terminal Agony. Chatterstorm with the evil squirrels. A sketch card, Arcbound Shikiri. Batterbone. Ooh, living weapon. Equip creature gets plus one, plus one, and has vigilance and lifelink. I would almost rather have that in my deck than uh, Batter Skull. Aside from the 5 to equip, but uh, that's why you get like bat Brass Squires, so you don't have to pay stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It's actually really good, in, uh, in my opinion. Batter Bone's pretty good. Arcbound Whelp. Seal of Removal. <laughs> it's a... What? Sacrifice seal of removal, return target creature to its owner's hand. Alright. What's up, DJ? What's up, DJ? And her rare is Douthy Voidwalker. With a foil Vidalkin in Infiltrator. Uh, you know, this guy looks like he's uh, beat every Doctor Who that ever existed and stole their, their screwdrivers. And those screwdrivers are now implanted into his fingers. I mean, he's actually kind of drawn like he could be in uh, Doctor Who as well. Mr. DJ, hey, what's going on today? Creepy. Yeah. I'm going to give you an anal exam. Please don't. <laughs> it's time, yeah, DJ, uh, time to pro. Um, Emma just uh, got Chatterfang. And uh, so this is the second uh, 
Perry Leach box that, that was open. And then uh, um, the first one was Hernandez. He actually uh, got some good hits, too. He got the uh, the blue suspend card, a Marsh Flats, the card with the ridiculously long name. And he also got the, uh, the smothering tithe on legs, which is just an awesome card. Kitchen Imp. Dude, you're getting so many of the uh, the shifty cards. That's crazy. Ske another sketch card for you, too. Faithless Salvaging. Another Jade Adventure. Apparently, Emma's going to be building a frog deck. You thought you were going squirrels, Emma, but you're going frogs. Oh, my God. Double sketch pack. Blossoming Calm. You gain Hexproof until your next turn. You gain two life and rebound. All right, someone explain rebound for me. I'm trying to, I don't think I'm familiar with that mechanic. Oh, I, Bushido, <laughs> that's what's up. Spreading insurrection. Oh man, her rare is a, uh, is, well, She's another two rare pack for you? What the fuck? This is gross. Fire and Ice for the first rare. Second rare is Sanctifier and Beck. Two mana, human cleric. Protection from black and from red. When it enters the battlefield, exile all cards that are black or red from all graveyards. A black or red permanent spell or card not on the battlefield would be put into a graveyard. Exile it instead. Okay, so... Um, there's a foil. That's just a common. Diddy's ploy. This is a pretty decent box for uh, for Emma there. Yeah, that was a really good box. Got one more pack still too. She's getting all the goodies. That is a dead ass squirrel. Oh, never mind. It's a beetle. Whale. Blacksmith skill. Charger. Fodder tosser. Alright, kind of like the name of that one. Silver Bluff Bridge. Disciple of the Sun. Another Tormod's Crypt Keeper. I think that card's good so far. Alright. Timeless Witness. Okay, so is this a, a playoff of Eternal Witness? The Timeless Witness enters the battlefield. Return target card from your graveyard to your hand. Eternalize. Seven. Exile this card from your graveyard. Create a token that's a copy of it, except it's a 4-4 black zombie human shaman with no mana cost. Okay. And Eternalize is only a sorcery. Flay Essence. Flame Blitz. Extruder. You know, I watched an anime recently that this looks... Oh, no, it wasn't an anime. It was actually a movie. The movie where, like, the cities would run around on tank tracks. I don't know if you know what movie I'm talking about. Like an apocalyptic one. And she got a rare sketched Esper Sentinel. Alright, I'm officially over your box, Emma. Congratulations. You pulled some pretty good stuff. I'm gonna seal this back up and slap. Emma on it. Apparently, I am missing stuff. There it is. Alright, you sure you want to do yours on video, Neil? Oh yeah, sorry. My, uh, my audio, for whatever reason, messed up. But yeah, go ahead and, uh, go ahead and crack it. All right. 
And then, let me see if John ever replied. He might be passed out, though. He was up so late last night with us. He's over in Florida. Oh, yeah? Right on. That's actually where I'm from originally. Good old Orlando. Alright. My brother works at Disney in Orlando. Right on. I've shipped to uh, Canada before, man. I know how it goes. They also tax the shit out of you for everything you send. Doesn't matter if it was given to you or not. If it has value, they want to know about it so they can tax their peoples. Mr. Pax, you hit a, a red, and then here is your promo card. Why do I feel like we just pulled something straight out of Theros? Nykthos Paragon. Because we did. All right, all right. Apparently, Theros really likes you. It's following me around. It's like, you know what? You got those two fucker boxes that were supposed to be Zendikar Rising, and now you just can't can't get away from Theros. <laughs> Theros is just like, ah, it's your set, bro. It is. It's all right. It's a good set. The only sets I do good with in battles are, uh, are Zendikar Rising ones, so... Whiff, 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 whiff. You still win a pack of something. Yeah. Or one of the toppers or whatever it is. I don't remember. Yeah, Alright, let's... That's, that's usually what I do. Alright. Let's get into this. How do you want to, want yours open? You want to get straight to the uh, good stuff? Yeah, you can go through the go through the commons like quickly and then just... Uh, I mean, maybe take like a second for the uncommons. This, this, this one can go fast. Oh, this tree has... So many apples. Oh, this house has so many windows and doors. This parchment has blood. This chick uh, is stealing the soul from a... I don't know what that is. I'm not going to do that anymore. Mirror. Imp. And you got the Pokemon boy. Dude, he's so right. weird looking. Look at this. He's not human. <laughs> like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> like what, a Kipkin or something? I. It says Ophi. He's an Ophi. <laughs> That's a thing now? Okay. Jesus. Tribal Ophi? Yep. Yeah. Alright, let's see. Oh yeah, there he is. He's, he's weird. <laughs> Faithless salvaging sketch card. You also got a frog. And what the fuck? It's a flying seal with emerald tentacles. Not even shitting you. Yeah. <laughs> not, I don't doubt you. Like, emerald morphed into a seal. Slapped some wings on himself. And now he's reaching out and touching other people. Oh, yeah, I see it. It's, no, that's not a seal, dude. That's a straight-up manatee. <laughs> manatee, seal, sperm whale, whatever you want to go with. Yeah. Arrow amoeba. Raving visionary. Break the ice. Destroy target land that is, not, that is snow or could produce colorless. Ooh. And you can overload it. That's fucked. And that guy is Nito Petito. Scourge Familiar. Phyrexian Imp. I love it. I need a Phyrexian Obliterator. Aw, oh, so pretty. Other than the fact she's got no mouth. Sanctum Weaver. Enchantment Creature Dryad. Dude, even the rare, your first rare is a Theros card, bro. <laughs> Can't. Can't escape it. Uh, Alright. Next pack. Is it going to be Theros as well? <coughs> flying <laughs> manatee. Flying walrus. Uh, 
I'm still laughing over that Sanctum Weaver. I mean, it's a cool card, actually. It's not bad at all. I mean, if you're playing, like, Enchantress or something. <laughs> Crack open. That's what we're doing, Magic. Lose focus. Arcbound Tracker. Deepwood Denizen. Another mirror. Another amp. What? What, what the shit? We literally just did that. We went from Mirror to Amp and then to this Emrakul Manatee Walrus Seal. Chatterstorm's new. <laughs> it's a, it, it must have heard that I was in Florida. It's like we're going to give him all the manatees. No. <laughs> it's all of them. Dude, I imagine this card's worth something. That is dope. Congratulations on this one. Uh, I, yeah, I'm not sure what it is, but I will in like 20 seconds. Go YouTube delay. Dude, yeah, seriously, congrats. And it's also uh, a, a shifty border. Oh, the Ornithopter? Yeah. No, it's a common. It's, I mean, probably not worth all that much. It's a cool card. Uh, name a deck it couldn't go in. Two mana for yeah, an O2 no. flying that gives you mana. Oh yeah, no, it's a it's a it's a great card, but it's I mean it's not like a rare or anything like that. I mean there there'll be there's gonna be a ton of them. Oh yeah, there will because they don't want another Birds of Paradise. Yeah, exactly. Tide Shaper. But I'm just saying it's in the old school border, so that's cool too. Yeah. And yeah, plus I, I like the art on it too. Yeah, no, it's good. Ravenous Squirrel, uh, I got the sketch. You get the normal one with all the blood dripping down the snake from the squirrel's mouth. What? He wants to fight Tusky. Toski. Him and Toski are going to fight. Who do you think is going to win? Uh, I got to go with Toski because he's indestructible. <laughs> the stats say it all. I don't know. He might just uh, uh, black blade his ass. He might. There's always that. Ooh, Milliken. I like the art from that. For some reason, it reminds me of Iron Giant. Doesn't resemble it at all. It's just somehow, I guess, the art style maybe. What? Millicard and get free mana. All right. Oh, shit. You go, girl. Bam. Wait till it catches up. I'm not even going to spoil that for you. All right. What? The Milliken card's actually pretty cool. Very cool. Aired Mesa... Hell yeah. Almost have a play set of those now. Not obviously the, the MH2 ones. I've got two of the uh, Zendikar Rising uh, um, Expedition Expedition ones. Yeah. yeah. Couldn't think of the words. Because you're losing focus. Because I am losing focus because I pulled it. <laughs> Disciple of the Sun. They, I think they loaded the uh, common and uncommon spots with some really sweet cards. I actually think that's awesome. Yeah, the more the more I see this set, the more I like it. And I, uh, I'll, I'll be the first to admit. You can ask uh, Matt. Um, I was not sold on it. I was thinking for the price point of this set, you know, like the most, like at the time, like they were, the most they were pitching on there were, uh, um, like, hey, you can get, you know, time shifted fetch lands. I'm like, all right, you know, there's been how many printing of fetch lands so far? I mean, that's not really that unique. And then they were like, started coming out with the previews. And then we saw Cabal Coffers and Mirari's Wake and a bunch of these other really good cards. I really like that Root Walla because I was a fan, like, a fan of Blue Green Madness back in the day. Um, and so just seeing this, uh, the red version of it's kind of cool. Fire breathing. 
Lucid Dreams, I love that card. That would make such a cool playmat. Double rare pack for packs. Yeah. That's cool. Actually, I wanted to get a wonder. I uh, I used to run that in uh, my Psychotog deck back in the day. And persist. <laughs> that is such an ugly card. Yep. I don't disagree. Dagger tooth. Another colon. Gorger, Tragic Fall, Dry Keeper, Fairgrounds Patrol, Discerning Taste, Piercing Rays, Sanctuary Raptor. What's this one do? That's not going to be a good one. Unless I'm reading it wrong, it doesn't seem too good. Oh, I was just kind of trying not to ruin his uh, his stuff. Letting him okay. uh, take it in a little bit. Oh, man. Why Hydras? Why? Angelic Curator. Curator. Okay. I can dig it. Oh shit, another mythic. Oh yeah. Solitude. Oh, is that one of the uh, the cast from your hand ones? Uh flash lifelink. When solitude enters the battlefield, exile up oh. to one target creature. That creature's controller gains life equal to its power. Evoke, exile a white card from your hand. Oh, hell yeah, that's like the uh the free swords of plowshares. Yep. That's what's up? That's great. That's fantastic. And don't oh, worry, guys. Cool. I will sleeve up your stuff before I ship stuff just because I know it'll bounce around in the mail. So. Oh, yeah. I didn't... Didn't have any... I wasn't even thinking that. <laughs> I got KMCs. I'm just trying to already at an hour and 12 minutes for this one get these done and then swap over to that set box I'll start up a new one and then Sounds possibly pay some sh play some shenanigans if people are down for shenanigans Scophus Reaver Gorger I can't wait until I get my collector box that's gonna be awesome yeah the thing that sucks is I'll be at meetings so um, I won't get it I won't be back until probably either late Thursday or Friday. Abundant Harvest in the sketch. That's cool. Mana Mons Mons Monos Monoski Lion? I, I don't know how to pronounce that. Monoski Lion enters the battlefield with a 1-1 one, one counter on it. Remove a 1-1 one, one counter from Monoski. It deals 1 damage to any target. Uh, I mean, yeah. I can see it. Scurry Oak. This oak is scurred. Those are some weird ass looking squirrels. Just a second. I just You're got good. I just got something that says it's this is huge. It better not be Wow, El Salvador becomes the first country to approve approve Bitcoin as legal currency. Oh, that's awesome. Anything to boost an economy, and that's going to boost their economy. Yes, it will. Flame Tug, Tongue Yearling. Oh, Riptide Laboratory. Not the rare you want to hit in a pack this expensive. Yeah. Luckily, still, it's uh, one of two rares, because your other rare is a Fractured Sanity. Right on. What? That's kind of fucked. Three mana, each component mills 14 cards. And you can cycle it. And when you cycle it, everybody mills four. What? All right. Oh. 
Constable of the Realm. Let's do this. It's just quite in general. You guys must be multitasking while you're listening to me be bored. Well, I'm not bored. <laughs> I'm boring, I guess is the better way to put it. No, it's... Like I said, it's just, it's just due to the delay on the... I know, it makes it kind of hard. I... Ooh, hey, Donald Zeller. Whoever you are, welcome to the chat. Enjoy your stay. Welcome. I suck at going through cards, so I hope I don't trigger you too hard. Lens Flare. Cabal Initiate. Oh, man, if you hit a Coffers in this pack, I would just explode. I think I would, too. Pop. <laughs> just explode. My fingers would be laying on the uh, top of my table here. Alright, last pack magic. Not that you haven't already hit some pretty decent stuff. Yeah, Mythic. No, I'm, I'm ha happy with this uh, this pack as it is. Let's see if we can't bring it home, though. Hey, no. Kevin. No, we're just uh, just opening some pre-release packs right now. Not chopping anything. That's the second sketch of Abundant Harvest, though. Yeah. Kevin should be joining okay, the chat. That's what he should be doing. Seal of Cleansing. Oh, I went straight for a foil uh, salamander. Completely skipped over. No! Fuck you! What a box! I quit! I'm done! Game over! <laughs> Like, start so calling you, to catch you up. I'm gonna call you Baby Aristotle. Big, okay, now I'm curious to see what it is. That sir was a solid pre-release kit for you. Is that a bird? Oh, hell yeah, that's what's up. <laughs> Double fetches, and the uh, the white mythic. All right, I'll take it. it. Was better than the box I opened for myself. Jesus. You guys and your uh, your shenanigans. All right, I'm gonna put Pax's name on this one. Pax. All right. There we go. That'll go over here. This one's mine, so it'll go over there. I'll sleeve those up while I'm going through things later. And toss these over here so that way I remember some perfect fits. Um, so I think that's going to conclude this live stream for the uh, for the pre-release kit. So I'm going to kill this one and start a whole brand new one for the set booster box, and then we can decide on shenanigans from there. So uh, you good. guys, are, you guys are listening. I will be back up like five minutes tops. I'll probably use the restroom real quick and then. Uh, Get the uh, chain, the name changed a little bit, so that way we can uh, we can crush a box. So, see you guys in a minute.